Stop chasing motivation. You're wasting your time. There's a way to literally hack your brain so that studying feels as good as scrolling TikTok. No guilt, no burnout, just pure focus. And the craziest part? It's backed by dopamine science. By the way, if you want to build an exceptional memory, grab my ebook, How to Build an Exceptional Memory. Links in the description. Before we start, tell me in the comments. Where are you watching from today? Let's see how far the study squad reaches. The hidden reason you hate studying. Let's be honest. Most of us don't hate studying. We just can't seem to enjoy it for more than five minutes before our brains start screaming for something else. Here's the real reason. It's not laziness. It's dopamine. Dopamine is that tiny chemical in your brain that decides what feels rewarding. It's your motivation chemical. When you scroll through TikTok, watch a funny reel, or check your notifications first thing in the morning, you're giving your brain a giant dopamine blast. It feels amazing for a few seconds, but what happens next is the problem. That huge spike is followed by a crash. And once you crash, studying suddenly feels like pushing a car uphill in the rain. Your brain literally becomes numb to normal rewards, like learning, solving problems, or finishing notes. Because compared to that early phone hit, those tasks don't stand a chance. That's why mornings matter so much. Whatever you do in the first hour sets the tone for your motivation levels all day. So if your day starts with distractions, your dopamine baseline starts low, and everything that follows feels like a chore. But if you start calm, focused, and phone-free, your brain saves that precious dopamine for the things that actually move your life forward. If you're guilty of checking your phone the moment you wake up, drop a phone emoji below. Let's see how many of us need this fix. How top students trick their dopamine. Now here's what separates average students from focused ones. It's not IQ, it's dopamine management. Top students have figured out a sneaky trick. They delay their dopamine spikes. Instead of feeding their brain candy first thing in the morning, they start slow. They give their brain time to wake up naturally. So when they finally sit down to study, their dopamine is waiting to reward focus, not distraction. Here's what that looks like chemically. When you resist the urge to scroll, your dopamine stays at baseline. Steady, balanced. And when you finally start doing something meaningful, like studying, the dopamine release feels amazing because it's the first hit of the day. That's why some people actually say they enjoy studying. Their brains are literally wired to find it rewarding. So the next time you wake up, imagine you're a dopamine ninja. Quiet, focused, patient. Every minute you resist the screen, you're storing motivation for later. Try this tomorrow morning. No phone for the first 30 minutes. Comment locked in if you are willing to give it a go. The dopamine morning routine. All right, here's the routine that changed everything. The dopamine morning routine. It's simple, science-based, and it works because it keeps your dopamine level stable and ready for focus. Step one, no phone. When you wake up, don't even touch it. Leave it on airplane mode, turn it face down, whatever it takes. The goal is zero digital stimulation for at least 30 minutes. Step two, two to five minutes of mindful breathing or quick journaling. You don't need fancy meditation music or candles. Just sit still, breathe in, breathe out, and clear your mind. If your brain starts listing worries or to-dos, jot them down. That's journaling in its simplest form. You're basically telling your brain, relax, we'll handle this later. Step three, jump straight into a 25 minute focused study sprint. Don't overthink it, don't organize pens, don't scroll Spotify, just start. Pick one small task, review notes, read a page, solve one problem, and dive in. Within minutes, you'll feel something click. That's your dopamine rewarding focus instead of distraction. This one routine can turn I have to study into I want to study. It's not about willpower, like it's chemistry used wisely. Screenshot this mini routine and tag me when you try it. Let's start a dopamine challenge. Here is why this actually works. So why does this simple routine feel almost magical? Because it's not magic. It's brain chemistry. Your brain runs on a reward system powered by dopamine. Every time you achieve something, no matter how small, your brain says, nice, do that again. That little chemical spark keeps you chasing progress. But here's the twist. Dopamine doesn't just reward you after success. It also motivates you before success. It's what gets you excited to start. When you protect your mornings from high dopamine distractions, you let your brain build anticipation that slow, satisfying climb of motivation. So when you finally sit to study, your dopamine is primed to say, this feels good. Let's keep going.
Each page you finish, each note you highlight, that's another little dopamine reward. And because you're controlling the source, your brain starts linking learning itself with pleasure. That's the real trick, turning discipline into desire. If you've ever hit that flow state where time disappears while you study, comment the word flow below. Let's normalize loving focus turning study into a habit loop. Now, once your brain starts releasing dopamine from studying, something powerful happens. It starts craving that feeling again. That's how habits form. Most people use that loop for doom scrolling or gaming. But you, you're going to use it for growth. Here's how. 1. Q. Every morning, see your desk or your notebook. That's your signal. 2. Action. Sit down and study for just 25 minutes. Third reward. Check something off, feel proud, or say out loud, nice work. Your brain doesn't care whether the reward is candy or confidence. Dopamine fires either way. And after a few days, your mind starts saying, I want that focus rush again. When you link studying to emotional satisfaction instead of stress, it becomes automatic. That's not motivation. That's conditioning your brain to love progress. If you're starting your dopamine habit loop today, type start in the comments. Let's hold each other accountable. The one rule you must never break. Yeah, and everything we've talked about works beautifully, and I put only if you protect one rule. Never, and I mean never, start your day with instant dopamine. That single choice decides whether you'll control your day or your phone will. Think about it. The first hour after you wake up is like wet cement. Whatever habits you press into it will harden and shape the rest of your day. So, no endless scrolling, no notifications, no quick dopamine hits. Just calm focus and intention. Protect your first hour like it's sacred, and because it is. It's your brain's cleanest, sharpest moment. Use it well, and everything that follows, studying, classes, work, becomes ten times easier. And remember, it's not about being perfect. It's about building a system that makes focus feel good. When you do that, motivation stops being a problem. You won't force yourself to study. You'll want to. Before you go, hit subscribe if you want more science-backed motivation and study strategies that actually work. And if you want to build an exceptional memory, grab my ebook, How to Build an Exceptional Memory. The link's in the description. Now go protect your dopamine, and I'll see you in the next video.